adding content on your page is the next step that we need to go through. We have a blank page here and we need something on it. In order to do anything on the page, you click Site Actions and Edit Page. You cannot just click on the page and expect to start editing or typing. When I click Edit Page, you will see that I have two zones, a left zone and a right zone. And at the top of each zone, it says to add a web part. A web part is a holder of content, and you add the web part that is appropriate for that type of content. I'm going to click Add a Web Part. The one that I want to add is the one that's most versatile. It's under Media and Content. It's the Content Editor. And then I click Add on the far right side to add that web part. It always comes up at the top. Of course, in this case, this is the only one we have, so it's not a problem yet. But I'm going to click here to add new content. And I've already created a banner that I'm going to use on this site, so it's time to find it and uh, upload it to this site. So I'm going to click the Insert tab of, right next to Format Text, go over to Picture, and From Computer. You could say from address if you already had it uploaded to a document library on your site, but in this case I do not. So I'm going to click from computer. If I had more than one document library, I would have a choice of where to put it. So I'm going to click browse. I put this one in my pictures folder because it was a picture. And it's called video tutorial. So I go all the way down. There it is. Click Open and click OK. It will take me to a, a window where I can name the banner. If I wanted something else, I can. I do not need to put a title in. I'm just going to click Save because I already had it named the way I wanted it. And there's my banner. It does come in very large. I would caution you not to resize it by taking the handles like we usually do in a Word document because it does not resize it proportionately. However, right above, when you have the banner selected, you have under the Picture Tools and Design the size. So I'm just going to erase that and start with about 600. And, well, that's a little small, so we'll try 750 maybe even just a little bit bigger. We'll try 800. I like to put mine in the middle. So there's my banner and then in order to save what I've done I always go to page and stop editing. You'll notice that the title content editor is showing because I did not remove it. In order to remove it I can either go back to edit page or I can just click this drop down which is available right now and go to edit web part. In the taskbar that comes up on the right go to appearance. Now here is the title. If I take out content editor I can type in something else that will be seen there. If I take that out and leave it blank it will say untitled. In this case I really don't want another title above it so I go down to the Chrome type and click None and OK. And there you have created a content editor web part, inserted a graphic, and saved it.